game. When they reach 100 points first, uh, they are 15 and 0, or 15 and 1, I should say. They uh, can put an awful lot of points on the board. I was a little concerned about this. Uh, they have averaged the last two games. They've averaged 126 points a game. The Bulls have not scored 126 this year. The officials: Paul Mahalik, Ron Elisiak, and Greg Willard. Elisiak's a pretty fair softball player in the Chicagoland area, as we uh, found out the last time he was working in Chicago, which was the Philadelphia 76er game back on December 19th. Minute Bowl and Bill Cartwright on the tap. Bulls in the traveling red, Sixers in the home whites, and the Bulls control the tip. B.J. Armstrong sets it up for Chicago. Morris Grant, but much more offensive-minded in recent games. Pippen, B.J. is wide open. Armstrong will have 10 points on 3 of 7 from the field last night, the first field goal of the game. Gilliam has been scoring big points for the Sixers recently. Weatherspoon in close against Pippen. Rebound tipped away from Ball. Here comes Scotty Pippen. Pippen releases. Scotty follows his shot, gets a reprieve as it knocked out of bounds, and it will be Chicago basketball. Cartwright against Ball. Michael Jordan. Easy to figure out, 20,002. 5,010 and 15,000. Matter of fact, it was just two years ago that he got his 15th. There's a three by BJ. Huh? A brick, but Pippen is there to clean it up and a foul. Score the field goal. Foul is on the ball. He'll cut right. Not challenged by Bowl. Weatherspoon can't handle it, but Hornacek does. Nice bail on a pass to Hawkins. Good feed, Weatherspoon in close. Weatherspoon, 24 points in 38 minutes last night in Washington as the Bullets won in dramatic fashion on a tip in by Ron Anderson. Nine and a half to go, first quarter. This is Armstrong. BJ penetrates. Pippen with a tip. Tip by Cartwright. Bill gets it back. Horace Grant can't handle it. Manute Bowl comes up with a handle. Horace was nervous as he went in that lane. He just saw Manute Bowl. Bowl blocked five shots in the December 19th game at Chicago. Gilliam with the left hand. <laughs> I love Michael that rebound. One shot, one-handed rebound. Lead for Pippen. Nice play all the way down. Pip just broke out of the pack. Bulls have scored nine of the first 11 points of the game. A little over three minutes gone by in this first quarter. Gilliam to Weatherspoon in traffic. Big Clarence Weatherspoon. He's got all four points. Uh, Here's Pippen. Cartwright. Oh, Bill has had two of those beauty shots from the side. Bull not around him. He missed both of them. Sixers on the run. Weatherspoon. Oh, by oh, oh, Scotty. Sensational block. Woo. Pippen to Grant. Blocked by Bull. Gilliam out of the run to Hawkins. In against Cartwright. Yes, and a foul. Bulls could not finish it up, but that is why Manute Bowl is in the game. Sixers work the basketball now. Nine to go on the shot clock. The floater by Hornacek. Well, the Bulls have been outscored here. Lead. Horace Grant backing in on Gilliam. Knocked away by Hornacek. Tip by Pippen to Grant. B.J. Armstrong. That's his second from the big Hawkins reset. Sixers and Bulls tied at 11. Gilling him to the lane as it knocked away. B.J. Armstrong's got a three on one. A Pippen to finish. Seven for Scotty Pippen. Gilliam with the open side pot. Gilliam! Armand Gilliam who had 24 points left. Bulls and Sixers are tied up at 13. Under six minutes to go, first quarter. Five to go on the shot clock for Scotty Pippen. They're looking, look at it, Mike. Michael Jordan for three. Rebound tried loose by Cartwright. 
It's Jordan. Yes. Michael took the three, closed the door. Jack Paxson comes in now for B.J. Armstrong. First on Grant, third on the team. Gillingham in close, his second from the field. The last three games, he's been averaging over 20 points a game. 21 points per contest and 7.7 .7 rebounds. Bulls and Sixers tied up at 15. Under five minutes to go, first quarter. Card right checked by Bull. Horace Grant. Oh, oh. it in and a foul. Horace up the field goal. Horace much improved from the free throw line, though. I mean, he's hit 13 of 15 free throw shots this week. Hawkins for three. Manute Bull. <laughs> he put it in to put back. He was going to take the ball back out, but he was so... Uh, his season high this year has been eight points. From. John, you don't really worry about his vertical jump, do you? No. Pippen and a foul. He scored a field goal. Last night. Horace Grant, Jordan at the high post. Feeds Horace. Nicely done. Horace in the face of Manute Bull. It's good to see Horace get that confidence. Three minutes left to go, first quarter. Bulls on top by three. Anderson. This is Dawkins. Gilliam against Grant. They isolate. Armin Gilliam third for the field has six. With Bowl in at the center position, Gilliam can play that power forward, his natural position. Jordan beats Purdue. Well, not quite, not really expecting that pass. Well, uh, that was a scare that time by Blue Bowl. A nice little pass down in by Dawkins, and Gilliam runs the floor. He's doing that. Gilliam. Ten to go on the clock. Jordan. Double teamed. Beats Pippen. Oh. Taken away by Hawkins. On the run with Patson. Two on one to Dawkins. There they come, fast breaking again. Another scare by Manute Bull has the Bulls overpassing. What happens, you overpass, they intercept, and another thing that'll happen, you'll get three seconds called on your lot. Coming up on a minute 30 to go. First period of play. Jordan from the outside. Michael, Michael with six. Jordan on three of six shooting from the field. Percy Hawkins deals baseline over Horace Grant. Percy Hawkins has had a strong first. About a six-second differential. Shot clock to game clock. Shot clock standing at 14 now. That's the game clock in the right-hand corner of your screen. Percy Hawkins. Four to go on the shot clock. Hawkins over Purdue left it short. Horace Grant to Michael Jordan. There it is, 2.2 to go here. Mike with the shot, they're down one. Pressure in the backcourt. Pippen nearly intercepts. Hawkins fires from deep and oh, at the end of one From center court, Hersey Hawkins almost brought it down, but Michael Jordan and company cut the gap to one. Sixers, 27, Bulls, 26. For the Bulls, 48 for the Sixers. Eight turnovers for the Bulls in the first quarter. Seven offensive rebounds. The Bulls did out, did rebound very, very well against uh, this club in the first half. 17 and nine, they've got him. Dawkins off the glass. Johnny Dean for the Sixers now. This is Ron Anderson. Clear, Jack, got to clear. Down to seven to go on the shot clock. Tim Perry nails it. Came over in that deal. Rodney McRae. Jack with good position to the rebound. Hornacek on the run. Nice feed to Tim Perry. Oh, he blew the close one inside. He got dizzy making a 360 on the ground. He has to make those in the air. Pippen leaves it short. Hornacek to Dawkins on the run against Purdue. Uh, not even a foot race. Bulls need a timeout. Talk this over. They are so unscrambled. At this, so scrambled in this this time. They have been outscored six to nothing here in the first three minutes of the second quarter have the Chicago Bulls. Scotty Pippen. Good look to B.J. Armstrong. Drops for Will Perdue. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Perry. B.J. Armstrong with time winding down to the shot clock. Jack afforded another rebound. Gives it up to Hornacek. Tim Perry. There it is. They are just out hustling the bull. They've got a great time. 23 left to go. Second quarter. Michael back in the game for Chicago. Bulls yet to score in the second quarter. Jordan with five to go. MJ puts the first points on the board with 8-11. Dawkins done. Hornacek. 
Gordon with a hand right in the Hornacek's sex face. Rebound back to him. Perry collects. Hornacek wide open. Won't miss that one. Will not miss that one. He's a 48% shooter. Substitutions here. Jordan from the side. Michael Jordan. Dawkins was replaced by Hersey Hawkins in the lineup. Michael still the only Chicago Bull to score in the second quarter. Tough move by Perry. Rolling to the hoop. He has seven in the second. Michael Jordan penetrating. Brent, make that uh, B.J. Armstrong for the outside. Six for Armstrong. And the Bulls back to within six points. Some pressure in the backcourt once again. Sixers on the half court. Perry backing Jordan. Nicely done. Tim Perry having a big second quarter. Bulls on it. Trailing by eight. Trent Tucker. Picked up by Hawkins. Jordan. On the drive. Boy, the open is there. The opening is there without Manute Bowl in the game. Look at him get the ball now to court to Witherspoon for his sixth point. A Witherspoon out three from the field. Boy, the Sixers are out running tonight. They lead by eight, 44-36. The back door is open for Jordan from McRae. Look at this. Before you can count it, bam, down they go. A layup by Hersey Hawkins. Oh, damn, this team can put some points on the board. Not on the back end of a back-to-back -back situation when they traveled all night. Stacy King with the right hand. Stacy King. John, you rarely see him go to the right side. Lead for Weatherspoon a bit too much. But no count. Three by Hornacek. Yeah, yeah. long range three. Seven for Hornacek. 11 point lead, Philadelphia. 320, coming up on 320 left to go. Over 14 points in this quarter. Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Scotty with the 11 now. Michael backing Hornacek. The tip by King won't go. Horace Grant tries it loose. Jordan again. 20 first half points for Michael Jordan. 12 in this second quarter. He scored 12 of the 18 points. Hawkins has it knocked away by Trent. That's in the backcourt, 10 seconds. Hawkins accelerates through the lane. Offensive, Offensive ball, foul yeah. on Hersey Hawkins. That ball was in the backcourt. Bull set it up on the half court. Two minutes left to go. Two minutes for ready. Hornacek with a good defensive job on Tucker. Tucker can't even get a look at the hoop. First half of play. Four to go on the shot clock. Scotty manufactures. And hits. Scotty Pippen. 13 for Pippen. Bulls are back to within five. Percy Hawkins. You know, the Sixers never worry much about the shot clock, do they? Hawkins had a block. Here comes Pippen. MJ. Weatherspoon is there. Hornacek sets it up for Philadelphia. Sixers leading 51-46. Perry wants Weatherspoon down low against Horace Grant. Perry from the outside. Hornacek rebound. All he did was try to go in there, tap the ball away. He did it. Brings it out. They reset the clock, and we're almost down to 60 seconds of play here in the first half. One minute now, straight up to go, first half. Hornacek picked up on a switch by Grant. Weatherspoon. Monster slam by the rookie. Eight points. Off the bench. We talked about how great they played uh, last night's game. Stacy King with that basket. Look at this. There it is. Weatherspoon. Hawking. Weatherspoon with authority in your face, Stacy King. Ten for Weatherspoon. The lead again is nine for the Sixers. One last shot for the Bulls. Time left in the period. Right hand corner of your screen. Pippen. On the drive. Scotty Pippen. Fifteen for Pippen. 
Inbounds knocked into the first row by Horace Grant. 3.4 seconds is a lot of time. Yep. They don't put it on the floor much. They get it by advancing it by passing it. Good ball. It's a Hornacek. Intercepted by Jordan as the half comes to a close. Well, an impressive first half for the 76ers. They receive a standing ovation here at the Spectrum. The Bulls scored the first seven points of the game, but the 76ers have come back for a 55-48 lead at the break. And we're underway as we start the second half and take a look at what Philadelphia has done on the break. You saw some of that in the uh, highlight portion of our halftime presentation. Sixers resume offensively. They lead 55-48 to start the second half. Seven to go on the shot clock for Hornacek. Oh, uh, Bullock. Great feed yes. to the back door. Weathers throwing another slam. Great pass. Hornacek in transition. Pippen takes it away. The feed to Grant. Missed the slam. Pippen ties it loose. Michael Jordan. I don't know if uh, he missed that slam or Bull was there to disrupt him again, but MJ knocks in the jumper. 22. Horace looks like, looked like he lost track of where the basket was. Went down to slam it, and there was no basket there. Armin Gilliam. The new ball. Wait, wait a minute. What am I doing with this? Here's Hawkins. Taken away by Grant. Michael out on the run. He's got to beat Manute down the floor. Scotty over Manute. Yeah, nice play. Michael ran Manute right back into the hoop. <laughs> Mo is hollering at Manute. Manute says, what should I do? I was with the leading <laughs> scorer in the league. <laughs> Bull looking back door. Manute puts it to the floor. Whoa! <laughs> Last touch by Weatherspoon. Wow. One for two for Weatherspoon at the line. It's the old story. They say if he and Bill Cartwright went to the show together, did Cartwright get in for half fair? <laughs> <laughs> Cartwright goes to work over Shackleford. Bill Cartwright. Bill Cartwright with his first two points of the game. He has struggled his last three games. Four of 19 from the field in his last three. Percy Hawkins up and firing. Weatherspoon trying to keep it alive. Horace Grant rebound. The lead for Jordan. Out jump Hawkins. Yes, sir. Horace threw that high curveball. you got to throw a Nolan Ryan down there. Boom. You can't throw that curveball. You get a guy killed. MJ picked it out of the air and scored. Bulls are trailing by just two. Arnasek double teamed. Gilliam springs free. Tip is there by Shackleford. No, knocked out of bounds. It will be Chicago basketball. Scotty Pippen. B.J. Armstrong. Pippen up high for the rebound. Arnasek tipped it in the air. Here's Shackleford. Two on one break. Hawkins to Shackleford, Witherspoon makes it good. They almost blew that two on one. Jordan held by Hornacek. You see how smart that is? Six points of the game for Horace Grant. Bulls with the backcourt pressure. The inbound to Gilliam. They break it across to Hornacek. Oh, great feed to Hawkins. Hornacek, outstanding. He's the second. Percy Hawkins brings it across for the Philadelphia 76ers. Armin Gilliam. Back through a screen by Shackleford. Percy Hawkins with seven to go on the shot clock. Gillian going to work over Cartwright. And he gets the foul. Gillian with ten. His first two points since the first quarter. Horace Grant. Jordan to Cartwright with the left hand. Cartwright. Cartwright second from the field here in the third quarter. Has four in the game. Coming up on six minutes left to go in the third. Hawkins with the hanging move and he's fouled. Out of Westinghouse High School, a member of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. Bulls are trailing by nine. Cartwright against Shackelford. With the fade. Nicely done. And Big Bill has six. Jordan. With the elevation over Hawkins. 
Weatherspoon the rebound. Sixers on the run. They lead by nine. Three. A tray for Hornacek. There it is. That puts him right down in a big, deep hole. Big lead now. 12 points. Ten for Hornacek. Under five minutes to go in the third. Cartwright leaves for Armstrong. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. 19 for Pippen. Ten-point lead, Philadelphia. The Bulls don't have much trouble scoring against this team, but... Gillian, offensive yeah. foul is right. The Bulls don't have much... Then. MJ. Blocked by Perry. Hawkins on the run. Oh, he didn't call the offensive foul either, and it was there. Caddy made a beautiful play. They don't call it, but is that Tim Perry with the hoop? Tim Perry finishes the fast break. B.J. Armstrong is fouled by Dawkins. Down to five to go. Jordan baseline. Had it. Oh, he had his hand up through the hoop. Manute had his hand up through the hoop. Hawkins with a spin move in traffic. <laughs> Sixers reload the offense. Dawkins. Anderson for three. He measured it up. They play defense, real tough defense all along the other side of the court. It comes over. Anderson looked down at his feet and gets his first basket of the night at three. 17 point lead, Philadelphia. We head toward the fourth period. Time left in the corner, right hand corner of your screen. Nine to go on the shot clock. DJ Armstrong. Blocked by Bowl. Hawkins. The Dawkins. Percy Hawkins. for Hershey Hawkins and the Sixers at the moment are doing a number on the ball. And a three complete, another standing ovation for the Sixers. They've got the world champs on the rope. 84-65. This is Central High School basketball coach in the Chicago land area. Jeff was from LaGrange, Illinois. Went to Iowa State. On to Phoenix. Became an all-star. Traded in one of the biggest trades of NBA history to Philadelphia. That's a trade for Trent Tucker. See the Bulls. Zebra hat compliments of Miller. Genuine draft life. Paxson. MJ against Tim Perry. There's the tip by Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen with 21. Dawkins loses his footing. Here's Scotty Pippen for a poster. Scotty Pippen. Sixers ball. Bulls get up on a mini run here with 9.29 to go on the fourth. And Doug Moe takes a timeout to settle his young team. Up in the ball game. Weatherspoon has 19 points right now. Bulls on the attack. MJ down the lane to Paxson. Johnny Paxson with his first from the field. Weatherspoon in close over McCray. Good position by Jordan on the rebound. Bulls can cut the deficit under double digits, and they do. Jordan, 28. Oh, goodness. Bulls have played some pretty good defense here. They've got to hold them again. It's a tough hole to come out of. Weatherspoon driving the lane with the scoop. Jordan jumped in front of him trying to get the position, but Anderson tried to feed Weatherspoon. Knocked away by Grant. He denied that feed to the baseline. Ron Anderson. Gilliam in close against Grant with the left hand. Yeah. Let him out of the box. The Bulls making a run. Phil takes a timeout, and there's a timeout call by Phil. The lead was down to nine. It's back to 13. And short on jumpers and leaving a, a drive through the lane like that a little bit short. It's not an excuse. That's basically a fact with this basketball team. Horace Grant. Horace's first Horace. team since the first quarter. Sure is. He has eight points in the game. 
He's, uh, again, played so well offensively. Double team by Tucker and Paxson. Fries it loose, and Trent Tucker has the drive. Tucker. Five for Tucker here in the fourth quarter. Bulls trail by 11. 5.25 left to go. Weatherspoon. Gillian. There's the Hawkins. Leads for Gillingham on the screen roll. Weatherspoon cries it loose from McCray. Hawkins on the drop. Grant comes up with it off the pick. MJ for three. Forrest Grant. Yeah. That tip in reach puts Grant at double figures. Bulls are back to within nine. Gilliam pride loose by Jordan. It will be Sixer basketball. And now Jordan flashes out high. 13 to go on the shot clock. MJ down the lane. Horace Grant had the rebound for a moment. Anderson. Gilliam. There it is. That's the backbreaker. Timeout, coach. 3.31 left to go. 76ers leading 95 to 84. Full set to resume. 3.31 left to go in this one. 76ers lead by 11. Sixers are 8-1 if they reach 100 first in the game. Scotty Pippen penetrating. Well, I'll tell you, he's getting creamed and uh, didn't get a call. There, and has a call on Jordan. Yep, Michael right. had the rebound for a moment. Anderson took it away, and Michael commits the foul. Slow the play down. Third foul on Jordan, only the third on the team. Double team in the backcourt. Hawkins gets it away to Anderson. Coming up on three minutes left to go. Hornacek. Oh, he's going to have to gamble a bit defensively on the half court. Gilliam. Off-balance jump. Horace Grant. Scotty Pippen. Pippen. Grant from the outside. Horace has 12. Bulls with some pressure in the backcourt, some presence at least defensively in the backcourt. Hornacek plays ahead to Anderson. Let's see if they try a trap here. Half court they do. Jordan and Grant trapping. Hornacek trying to spin away and does. Weather spoon in close. Blue the puppy. Here comes Trent Tucker. Scotty Pippen. Weatherspoon commits the foul. Biggest lead is 20 points by the Sixers. Scotty and then they outscored us 11 to 2. Yeah. <laughs> One out of two. MJ. MJ. Jordan. 30 for Michael Jordan. He's struggling. That's only four for 18 now from the field. A timeout, 22nd timeout by Doug Moe. Although they did have one game right where they were blown out by like 56 points by in Sacramento. Hawkins breaking it across. DJ Armstrong picks up Hersey Hawkins. Hawkins looking for help. Then Gilliam tipped away by Horace Grant to Michael Jordan. John Paxson sets for three. Oh, and there. Gilliam. Hornacek fouled by Armstrong. Running out, 145. The game is six points in favor of Philadelphia. Ron Anderson. Get somebody. Sixers have been stuck on 95 here. Hornacek trying to penetrate a good feed inside. Hawkins is fouled. They're about to get off at 96. Hersey Hawkins is at the free throw line. 11 of 11 here tonight. A minute 30 left to go. One out of two at the line. And a quick timeout called by the Bulls. Five on the floor for the Bulls. Weatherspoon, Anderson, Hornacek, Hertzie Hawkins. On the drive, it's Pippen, and he gets the roll. Scotty Pippen. 26 for Pippen. Bulls are back to within five. Pressure in the backcourt. Hornacek plays it ahead to Gilliam. And the blocking foul is on MJ. Five entering the fourth period of play. 18 points for Armin Gilliam. Timeout. Bill Jackson and company. 
Mitt. Here's a look at the three-point marksmanship. Not much for the Bulls. B.J. Armstrong for three. Rebound Armin Gilliam. Gilliam surrounded. Trying to get it away. Finally breaks it out of there. Oh, oh, what a call. Doug Moe can't believe it. They had him in the box. He's looking to throw it to somebody. Pippen on the inbounds. Morris Grant. Jordan. Tucker. Slipped out of his hand. Here comes Hornacek. Game. Set. Match. Philly. 13 for Hornacek. Final minute of play. Jordan cranks a tray. Gilliam the rebound. Anderson and the Sixers are playing keep away now. Gilliam icing on the cake. No, to the tip by the rookie Weatherspoon is. BJ for three. Jordan reaches out and fouls on the play to stop the clock. And they reach 100 first. They will be 6-3 and three now in their last nine games, so this is a Philadelphia team that's feeling pretty good about itself recently. Bulls will reach in a double. There's another ball off the foot of Scotty, so just get it over with, guys. Let's get on our way to Orlando. That's a tenth loss for the Bulls. They're in double figures now in losses. They didn't get there to win. Was it March last year or thereabouts? Long time. People thought they might set the record last year, so time is going down. Final seconds ticking away. Arnasek just holding the basketball, and that's going to do it. Technically, it is a uh, violation a violation of the shot clock because there is six tenths of a second. Six tenths of a second remaining. They won't take it. Scotty will just throw it in. That'll be it. So a tough week for the Bulls. Four games. They lost three of them. Two of them decisively on the road at Cleveland at here tonight in Philadelphia. And another one disturbingly to the Lakers at home in Chicago. And the final score, the Philadelphia 76ers 104, the Chicago Bulls 91. Doug Moe and company now 2-0 against Chicago this season. Two of their 11 wins at the expense of the world champs. We'll be back. Thanks, Wayne. I am uh, down here with Jeff Hornacek, and I'll tell you, boy, you really take it out on your old hometown, don't you? You get a chance to play against the Bullies twice this year, and you really put it to them. What is it with the Sixers this year and you? Well, uh, uh, I think recently we've been playing a lot better. Earlier in the year, uh, when we won in the stadium, uh, I don't know if that was a fluke or not. The way we were playing, uh, we were very surprised at winning that one. But uh, uh, tonight we expected to come out here and give them a good game and uh, expected to come out on top. We felt uh, uh, that you had an awful lot of confidence. You win last night, a last-second game. It gives you a lot of confidence to come back home, know that you've taken the world champions in their own building. Uh, it, it's got to make you feel a little bit better. But uh, with the relative ease that you did it, does that surprise you guys? Um, uh, you'd have to say so against the Bulls. They're a great team. Uh, uh, I think tonight everything was clicking. We got the breaks. Uh, uh, when we were fast breaking, uh, uh, we were able to hit the open guys for easy layups. And, uh, you know, our guys ran down the court well. You know, sometimes we get in a, uh, you know, a situation where we're just walking the ball up the court and then we're not very good. But when we can push it up, we're good. You know, when you replace a legend, a lot of times people don't take to you. I was on this, uh, the uh, Syracuse Nationals team that moved from Syracuse to became the Philadelphia 76ers. People didn't like us at the beginning. You replace a legend. You come here, Charles Barkley goes out to Phoenix. It takes the people a little bit of time to like you, but they're starting to like you pretty good. Well, I think the fans have been very supportive of me out here in Philadelphia, but uh, the team, they were booing us early, uh, <laughs> but there was, uh, you know, definite reason to. We weren't playing very well. So, uh, you know, these last, I think, eight or ten games when Manu ball has really you know made a difference for us we're getting uh, defensive rebounds able to fast break with him in the game and uh, fans are I think are starting to think we're a good team you know you put him in the starting lineup he had not scored a point all year uh, Doug puts him in the starting lineup against Chicago and uh, you guys are like six and three since then but he doesn't bother you offensively but boy does he cause you headaches does he drive you nuts in practice uh, <laughs> no because he's on my team so I don't have to <laughs> shoot over him but uh, um, that's a big difference even though yeah. some people think that we're playing four on five offensively uh, our game is really to fast 
fast break and get the quick shots. And uh, if Manu can alter shots, uh, you know, maybe blocks them so we can get the easy shots, then uh, we really don't need him on the offensive end. You know, you've done such a great job. We talk about Michael Jordan leading the all-star vote getters and uh, you're second right up there. That's a tough thing to come from a, a team as popular maybe as Phoenix to a team in the East here where you need some recognition, but they're certainly are recognizing you, Jeff. Well, so far they are, so, uh, you know, it's great to see that. Hopefully it'll uh, uh, continue. I wouldn't mind playing with Michael one time. That'd be great. Uh, you, do you get back home? We talked about you being from LaGrange Township, LaGrange area. I get back there every once in a while. Uh, um, you know, we're now traveling back and forth from <laughs> Phoenix to New Jersey, so uh, uh, we try to get back as much as we can. Jeff has been my guest here. Jeff Hornacek, thanks. Let's go back to Wayne Larvey. All right, thank you very much, Reggie.